Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. And I'm Natalie. And we're gonna be doing a kind of like collaboration right now, and it's in person. I'm currently up at NAU, and we're gonna be doing an NAU versus ASU kind of like everything you need to know video. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are wondering about ASU, go check out her channel. If you guys are interested in NAU, keep watching this video, and I'll have the ASU one linked down below. This is an awesome collaboration. She's amazing. She does Thank NAU you. videos. Um, I also do like lifestyle. I don't, I wanna say beauty, so I'm not good at beauty, um, but like lifestyle Same. kind of <laughs> videos the fact that she gives people insight on NAU and everything like that is awesome so if you guys are more interested in NAU than you are ASU like I'm an ASU vlogger so like I talk about ASU 24 7 but I do have a vlog that is up now all about my weekend here at NAU I will be coming up here more because I thought it was the land of the tree huggers and it's not <laughs> it's pretty dope so for those of you that are interested in NAU you guys are thinking about going to college here or anything like that I hope this really helps you guys out and if you guys are new to my channel and you guys are coming from Natalie's hey my name's Sydney or Fit Sid if you guys want to call me by my nickname man <laughs> um and then my Snapchat's gonna be right here. She doesn't share hers. Um, and then with that being said, let's just get into this video and let's get down and dirty with what I thought was the tree huggers, but apparently it's not because I was here the whole weekend and my thoughts have completely changed about NAU. So if you guys are thinking about, you know, going to an Arizona school, if you guys are debating between ASU, NAU, U of A, this hopefully gives you guys some insight and I'll eventually be doing U of A. So if you guys are curious about other schools, let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, I love you guys so much and let's jump into let's this. My major is secondary education in English. I'm an exercise and wellness major at ASU. So we are up in Flagstaff, so we're like 7,000 feet up. So that means we get all four seasons. So right now we're kind of transitioning from fall to winter. So it definitely snows here, which is kind of cool. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold right now. Um, so we'll definitely get snow and stuff like that. So it's really different from the Phoenix area. She's got her jacket, yeah. as you can see. Um, so it's kind of cool. So if you're looking for that kind of difference, which I'm from the Phoenix area, so that's something that I was really looking forward to. Um, it's kind of cool for that reason. So there's a lot of like different activities and stuff. Um, the campus is also a lot smaller than ASU. There's like, I don't know how many students, but there's a lot less students, which is kind of nice. It's a homey feel too. It's yeah. nice because I feel like when I came up here, it was very homey mm -hmm. and like, I felt like people were really nice and mm -hmm. like you kind of a lot of people see each other around and recognize each other like the yeah. guys from the gym and the girls from the gym ate in the dining hall at the same time I did after being at the gym. Smaller, a lot more intimate. We're like surrounded by the trees too, so it's pretty cool. So some of the top majors I know is definitely education. This school started as an education, like teacher school, so um, a lot of people come up, which one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, a lot of people actually come up as nursing students yeah. too. They'll start off as that. That was my first major, and then I quickly transitioned to education. Um, and those I say would are very popular. We have a lot of hotel and restaurant management also up here. There's a really good program for that. Yeah, and then also for grad school, anyone who's looking, like for me personally, I'm an exercise and wellness major at ASU. That's popular here too, actually. Right, mm -hmm. but the thing is for physical therapy, people come up here because their grad school is bomb. Um, compared to ASU, I would definitely say NAU I mean, it's still obviously like alive and well here. It's a university, so obviously, but I would definitely say it's a lot more like, like, I don't know, smaller here. There's still tons of parties and stuff and like Greek life is pretty big here too, um, but not again, as big as like U of A or ASU or anything like that. Um, but it's definitely still here. And I know like some people would have forest parties here, which is really interesting. Um, and then there's like, you know, regular house parties and a lot of like Greek parties for sure, like rock parties and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but it's not like, as big here um so it's kind of nice like if that's not really your thing or it's not your jam or anything um kind of like me or i prefer to like be home and like watch movies and stuff like that um that's kind of like perfect for me because i don't feel pressured to like go out or anything like that but it's still there so if that's something you're interested in it's still here and like it's still like fun and just regular like college party stuff basically okay so i don't we don't have like that many i know like we keep adding more there are a lot of newer ones and mm -hmm. stuff like that um but i feel like the greek life just from i'm not in greek life mm -hmm. but so kind of like as an onlooker i feel like it's a lot more chill and i feel like everyone's really down to earth 
um, with that kind of aspect to it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if I were to join Greek Life, this would be the campus I would join it. I don't think I would join like ASU or U of A or anything like that. I think it's just a little bit too much for me, but here I would like join it. And I was considering it for a while actually, yeah. but I just didn't end up doing it. But um, it's like a really good way to get involved and volunteer and all that kind of stuff. So things to do in general. Mm -hmm. um, so I know like a lot of people love to go hiking and stuff. It's such a beautiful place to do that. So there's always that option. Um, and then like skiing when it's like um, snowing and stuff. My favorite thing to do for sure because I'm literally a coffee addict. Yeah. I love to go to the local coffee shops. They're I my love coffee favorite. shops. Do you? Yes. <laughs> so that's what I really like to do. And this just like throughout the seasons, there's little things to do. Like I went on this little like haunted ghost tour kind of thing. You don't really use that much gas, or at least I don't because I don't like it's not far from here uh -huh. um but yeah so that's some of the things that i love to do up here okay so there's quite a bit of clubs there's like a whole list online mm -hmm. or something like that um are you part of any no well not really i have a job on campus it's called uh -huh. academic academic transition programs oh, what's and that? i get paid for it but it's not a club. I don't want to call it a club, but mm -hmm. it's something I am a part of. So I basically am an instructor. That's just my Um, it's like I'm an instructor for mm -hmm. a course here on campus, and then I'll be coaching next semester. But it's really cool because it's very community based. So you we all get very people? yeah, definitely, which is nice for connections and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And being an education major, it's really cool getting that experience to manage a class and be in front of a class. Mm -hmm. um, but we do a lot of things not work related. Like we'll go out together, um, we'll do events, volunteering. There's so many opportunities to get involved on campus. But that's something that I really like to do. Mm -hmm. um, but it does take up a lot of my time, so I don't get to do a lot of other things but it's also um, your choice like you don't I have to be forced to do it yeah and like if I didn't get paid for it I would 110% still do it I love it so much so there's so many cool opportunities like that and I just I love it it's awesome the intramural sports for a lot of dorms do it for their specific dorms so there's like soccer I know my boyfriend did soccer and he loved it and they're not it's not like a full season kind of thing um my dorm didn't offer those kind of things because my dorm is a lot smaller um but I know they kind of do more seasonal sports which is really cool and they like play against other I don't know who they play against but they just play against other people and stuff mm -hmm. so it's kind of a fun way so it's not very official but it's a fun way to still get to be able to play and stuff like that so the football games I feel like are alive and well here but i don't feel like they're as much as a big deal as maybe asu or ufa mm -hmm. might be but they are still free which is really awesome so if you're looking for something fun to do with your friends or just to get out and stuff like that they're cool to go to they're free i know we do something called the freshman run or something like that mm -hmm. um so freshmen can obviously go for free but they can run across football field and it sounds like lame and dumb but it's no, kind of like a cool, cool like yeah it's kind of like a cool thing to do um which is kind of scary because you don't want to like fall in trip which has happened to many people um but it's like a cool event and and there's like food and stuff like that and they do all kinds of like little football-y college kind of things but yeah so they're there they're not as popular I don't really think we have a big rivalry like U of A or any U of A or ASU does um but they're so cool to go to especially if you're interested in going to football um games and stuff like that for free they're cool ever since I moved up here I'm from Phoenix so I feel like people sometimes can get a little bit angry um like with yeah. the heat and stuff so here because it's so nice I don't know if it has anything to do with the weather but I feel like people are so nice here and they're really friendly and they really want to help you especially downtown people are always like smiling and especially in their shops they're always saying like hey and I don't know people are really chatty here which I love and and um, it's just like a cool place to be. It's definitely like a good vibes kind of place and uh -huh. I find that the professors are so cool and like down to earth like earthy people and I really love that about this school. Um, it's definitely a different atmosphere for sure and people that live here I can tell really love to live here. This It's not that this one's not typical, it's just that it has like different vibes and when I came here this weekend, like I said, I thought it was the land of the tree huggers. <laughs> I was calling any you all the time like financial aid, like housing all the times so I feel like they had my number like who is this girl like why does she keep calling um but they were always so helpful and so like willing to help you and email you and all that kind of stuff and I go to advisors and I'm gonna study abroad next year so <gasps> my advisor exciting. yeah I'm really excited that's a good way to get involved um, yeah definitely and so my advisor is so helpful and he's always like willing to reach out and um go that extra mile for me which I really appreciate because my parents never went to college so mm -hmm. I'm kind of like up here on my own trying to figure it out and stuff so it's nice to have that last year I was a nursing major Mm -hmm. So I took a lot of like science-y kind of classes and my first semester I didn't feel like was so bad um, I was in a lot of big lecture classes, which I actually prefer over smaller classes I feel like the professors are very approachable, which I really appreciated And then I went to my second semester and my classes were a lot more intimate mostly this semester though I have very intimate classes. They're small like 
20 people, 30 people and stuff. Um, but I do like the classes. I feel like they're very helpful. Everyone's very helpful. Again, I feel like everyone's very willing to be in their office hours and um, like help you out in any way. And I feel like when they see you making that effort, it counts. Right now I don't have a meal plan, so I just make my own food. But last semester I did. All freshmen have to have a meal plan. Um, and I had like the 10 meals a week and then I had like $390 a semester or something like that, which was pretty nice. I felt like it was enough food for me. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a lot of cool options here. What's kind of cool about NAU is you can use your meals towards like the NAU dining halls and stuff. I think we have two. Hashtag jealous. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have actual like fast food places like Einstein's, Jamba Juice. Um, we have Chick-fil-A and Kidoba. so many other places. Yeah. So much. Did I mention Chick-fil-A? Yeah. I'm Pizza jealous. Hut, stuff like that. And Einstein. we can use those as transfers <laughs> and we can't get like anything on the menu, but like at Subway you can get a six inch sub and like chips or a fruit and then a soda. So that's kind of how they all kind of work, which is kind of nice. So you're not just stuck to the campus dining halls because those get really boring really fast. I never ate there at all the second semester. I always went to Einstein's and like Chick-fil-A and Subway and stuff like that. Um, but it's kind of nice to have those different options. So I really like that. Yeah, but, and I also ate at the hot spot. Mm -hmm. And like I'm telling you guys right now, their dining hall is much more diverse mm -hmm. than mine. We have a lot of different options, which is pretty nice down there. So um, when you are like picking your housing as a freshman go or going into your, be your freshman year, um, it's kind of like you have to do your housing application and stuff like that. And I think it's really first come first served base. Mm -hmm. I did mine like right when they released it to us they sent us an email like hey you need to fill this out and it's like a $300 deposit or something like that that you have to pay which is kind of a Same painful pay ASU. yeah and it kind of sucks um but I think a lot of people put that off understandably because it's so expensive it's a big chunk of money um but I kind of paid that right away especially if you're not right like sure that you're gonna do it like exactly. I know a lot of people that were like I'm not sure but then like they still ended up at ASU yeah um so I would recommend trying to get that done especially if you know for sure you want to get to NAU like that's where you want to go definitely take care of that first because I think that's priority I got a pretty early priority date so then they'll send you an email saying that oh this is gonna be your day that you choose which is so exciting you're like waiting all summer like I can't wait to choose um, and so that's when I got to choose you like go online to a portal and you kind of look at all the dorms and you choose your dorm and all that kind of stuff and I was gonna choose I think Wilson or something like uh -huh. that um, and I was gonna have a roommate and then I saw that there were single dorms available on campus and those are in Campbell and I think they have some in Taylor Hall also but most of them are in Campbell which is uh -huh. where I ended up living and that's where I ended up living I got, I got to have my own room there was like no roommates and I didn't have my own bathroom which kind of sucked I still had a communal bathroom um, but I didn't really mind it because we have like little sinks I was telling her mm -hmm. this earlier most dorms have little sinks but I guess the one that you stayed in didn't counted <laughs> you guys does not have little sinks it has a little <laughs> I will be posting a vlog either before or after. It's gonna be linked down below for NAU. If anyone's curious, you guys can see what Cowden and Calderon and like a ton of other ones look like and just what the campus is like and like what I did for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And this includes her. But not even kidding you guys, I walked in and I realized there's no toilet. There's and I'm used to that because ASU has that. There's no toilet, there's no sink, there's no medicine cabinet. Mm -mm. So like you oh have to God. like walk to take a pee <laughs> you have to walk to brush your teeth wash your hands like do your dishes whatever you need to do like you have to go to the bathroom Ew, do, do your dishes in the bath that's crazy <laughs> yeah. i had my own sink so i always did my own dishes in my um own sink but i feel like taking them in the bathroom that'd be gross <laughs> they have the kitchen too i think yeah. you can do it there but like yeah. at the same time if you think about it, like what if someone's using the kitchen exactly. then bathroom's like the next best bet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we also have like on-campus housing for apartments. Um, and that's where I'm living right now. I'm in an apartment style room. So I have my own room and then I have three other roommates. And we're in McKay, by the way. Um, and we have like our own laundry area, which is so nice. We don't have to pay for laundry, which is awesome. Tell them about how you have to pay for laundry at the dorm. Okay, yeah. Like so, <laughs> um, we have to pay, it's like $1.25 to wash your clothes and then a dollar to dry your clothes. And we have to go down and swipe our Jack's card with like our <laughs> laundry basket and like um, bring that down and then we had to pay Where for it is there. That at? Is that like in the dorm? Or yeah, the... it's okay. usually in the dorm. Ours was like in the basement. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how it works for others. I'm sure it's in some kind of like separate facility and mm -hmm. stuff or some kind of separate room. Um, and then you just swipe your card and kind of pay for it there. But it kind of sucks. So I wouldn't do laundry for like 
two weeks or three weeks or something because it's not expensive but it adds up and you have to keep mm -hmm. adding money and it's kind of annoying so it's nice not having to do that this year so um but that's kind of how that works for that so is your laundry in here yeah there's like a little closet and we have a laundry and oh, dryer that's and stuff nice. yeah it's so nice not having to pay for it it's more expensive to live here i would say but i would say that's definitely an added perk and things are a little bit more newer in this apartment which i love um and we have like two bathrooms so two people per bathroom which is pretty nice that is nice um but yeah it's kind of hard to get in here for sure but if you have like an early housing date for your sophomore year then you have a bigger chance of doing it so so does that mean that there's other apartment style here mm -hmm. besides mckay yeah definitely or is so this the best one um best i would say people really prefer this one this one's definitely a high priority one mm -hmm. um and then there's also pine ridge which is sim more um like similar to it but i think it's like a little bit less nice i don't really know i've never been in one before but i have a friend that lives there and she says it's okay mm -hmm. um and then there's other ones like you can share a room more of like a dorm style but it's for upper housing like sophomores and stuff like that it's cheaper to you can either share a room with one other person or you can get a very discounted price for three people which i hear is a little bit cramped but you do save a lot of money so that's an option too so yeah i don't know if i could do three because i know like odd one out and stuff yeah i heard it's very very cramped too but you save money so if you want to save money your freshman year then that's an option so that's kind of nice something i would definitely recommend bringing is a fan we don't have air conditioner in our dorms um because we don't really need it i don't think but, but they I definitely heat. yeah heating mm -hmm. thank goodness um, i know i was like it was hot they just turned ours on like a couple weeks ago so Did it, you control it in here yeah i have that little like thermostat there oh, which is nice. also a pretty cool perk about mckay mm -hmm. um but it gets cold in here in the meantime mm -hmm. um so i definitely recommend bringing a fan at least for the summertime so at least you have something blowing on you because i would get really hot for mm -hmm. the first like month being up here um something i would also recommend is Probably bring in a shower caddy if you have a communal bathroom. Probably. You need a shower caddy. Yeah. Unless you want to, like, carry all your stuff by yourself, um, I would definitely recommend getting one. Oh, I would recommend bringing a mattress pad just to make it a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. I don't think the beds are very comfortable. It's definitely a luxury kind of thing, but if you want, if it's important to you to have a comfortable bed at the end of a long day, then I would definitely recommend getting one. Those are probably, like, the top things that I use so much, like, last year. Um, I hope that this answered all of your guys' questions about NAU. She's currently a sophomore. I'm currently a freshman. I go to ASU, so if you guys are curious about ASU, we're kind of doing like NAU versus ASU collaboration. So don't forget to click the link down below. It's going to have her channel. The video link is probably going to be the first one, then her channel. Click the video, and then you guys can click the button down below. Subscribe on that video to her. Give it a like, a comment, say that you're from Fitzid's channel. <laughs> um, and if you guys are curious about any other like colleges and you guys want me to do these types of things, like I'd be so down. Um, I don't know. This was really fun. I'm yeah, definitely going to be coming up to NAU is. more often. You definitely should. I love it. And then I'm also thinking about going to U of A because I have so some cool. friends there. And, like, I've never been to U of A, like, Neither in college, you know? The other thing, though, is that, like, I feel like U of A is party city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their Greek life is huge. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials, follow her. I'm this super glad that we got to collab. I know. This is I know. awesome. And if you guys are curious about ASU, don't forget to check out the video down below. And if you guys do check it out, like say that you're from Fitzit. Yeah. That's that. Love yeah. you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.